Since I was four years old, I had an ability that I could see that what others could not see. Greetings, lofty viewers, and welcome to Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. Horse Whisperer, originally an ancient name given to a wild horse communicator, has become a famed profession ever since the popular same-titled US film made its debut in 1998. As animals become closer friends with us or even members of our family, the role of Dog Whisperer has become commonly known and respected. The National Geographic Channel has offered an unforgettable real-life TV show featuring renowned dog rehabilitator Mr. Caesar Milan, for example, aptly titled Dog Whisperer. Today, we are happy to introduce Mr. James Lesh, a cool vegan dog shaman. Native of miraculous South Africa, James is a young legend known as Africa's number one dog whisperer. The reason why I've been dubbed Africa's the dog whisperer and dubbed number one is due to my 100% success rate in rehabilitating psychological behavioral problems. My understanding and what I view is that any psychological behavioral problem in a dog can be rehabilitated. Technically I am a practicing shaman, uh, transforming lives of people by using a dog as a medium. Why a dog, one might ask? Well, as I am able to communicate with all animals and all beings, choosing a dog for this kind of modern society is what is most ideal. The relationship uh, joining are between man and dog, let's include women as well. It's, it's the only two species in the entire world that actually migrate together. So that is why this, this uniqueness and understanding is so key. A dog rehabilitator needs full understanding of the instinctual and psychological traits of dogs. But a dog whisperer also needs to relay to caregivers what the dog wants them to know. The dog does not need the human to become balanced. The dog can attain that very easily. But as the human being, we require the dog to help us learn and attain balance. What does the dog's need? True compassion is when you're raising a child or when you have a child, you have to focus, what can I do to make that child a better role model? So applying that same mindset to raising your dog will give you a well-balanced and happy dog. And what is the key element for humans to understand dogs? Dogs communicate to the human race for the human to attain balance. All animals in Mother Nature do that. Animals and dogs teach us to listen to ourselves and not be ignorant or arrogant because you cannot lie to a dog, your energy cannot lie. All dogs communicate by energy uh, and all, all species. Humans we become disassociated with, with uh, our, our instincts and, and tunement with mother nature. So by looking, observing, feeling, you're able to sense and be guided by what, what they're saying. In dog psychology, they do not see each other by sex, by breed, or by size. You can have Chihuahua leading a pack of Rottweilers. For them, whoever has the most calm serve energy in that spot, they will follow. The breed is only a variable factor. Animals only follow a calm, assertive energy, a calm, assertive leader. And again, I didn't use any commands, no treats, no verbal communication. Just the presentation of calm, assertive energy which a dog instinctively and any animal recognizes to follow. Now the question is how to connect with our canine friends. What makes a dog happy? For dogs for their psychological fulfillment they require exercise and discipline first. Even if you have a big yard, in his mind it's still a giant kennel. He needs to go out for a 40 minute walk with you every single day. Take him with you to restaurants, take him with you shopping, take him cycling, backpacking, hiking, treadmilling, running, you name it, and he'll be a well-balanced and happy dog. Uh, so if I didn't see this with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Yeah. Exercise in the form of physical challenge is most ideal for your dog. Powerful breeds like Rottweilers require two walks a day, a minimum of 40 minutes each. Bulldogs also, they're not a powerful breed, but they're a high energy breed themselves. So, investing in a treadmill does not substitute the walk, but it supplements the walk. 
Putting your dog on the treadmill for 20 30 minutes a day, plus a short walk afterwards, helps meet his psychological challenge. Other things to do is putting a backpack on the dog, so a 30 minute backpack is equal to one hour walking. Simply by walking and playing with their dogs daily, people become kinder, friendlier, more patient, have more happiness, and even more achievements. James calls this human dog interaction similar to practicing walking meditation. The beautiful thing with, with working with dogs, you're in a constant movement of walking meditation. So many humans struggle to do a sitting meditation. But when you're walking with a dog, it really helps you understand to live that moment because they are influencing you through their own resonance. When you're walking with a dog in a calm, submissive state, the dog's auric feel that changes your own is exactly the same as walking on the beach. So with all of my clients, they transform. Some examples, commonly I'd see a very frail, timid, anxious housewife, and I'd see her two weeks later for a follow-up, and I'd ask her, so how's the dog? And she'd say, no, my dog is fine. You should see him now, you know, my kids now. You know, I don't scream or shout anymore. They listen without me, you know, giving commands. They clean the room without me asking. It's phenomenal. Even I see big uh, CEOs and factory owners. They say that they don't lose their tempers anymore. Staff now approaches them uh, for giving questions. Even clients who call me who literally sell their car just to see me and help them out, who, who have lost their job. Within six months, those clients have got so much work that they're actually turning clients away. So all the thing is that helping them understand and what does it mean to be in the moment, what does it mean to be focused and centered. That's what the dog teaches a human. That's what the dog's greatest gift of love is to the human. Similar to what's happening in his clients, dogs were the agents of change in James Lesh's own life. He shares with us his gratitude for dogs. Dogs have saved my life. They helped me attain balance. My calling to become, or having my initiation of being a shaman, was A, I you know, reached extreme bankruptcy. I mean, I lost money beyond what most people could even dream of attaining a lifespan. I was severely sick, I was severely ill. And only once I accepted the calling and migrate and fully absorb it, then I was able to heal and then things turned around substantially. Um, finances were fantastic, I was hiring new staff, I was having more beautiful people in my life. I, you know, my health was phenomenal. I had an enlightened view of, of a happiness. My parents changing, my sister changing, my friends changing, my clients changing, and dogs changing. And as we understand, what dogs clearly communicate is never work against mother nature because she will bite you. <laughs> James also emphasized that turning vegan was a significant factor in his life's transformation. Originally I started you know, growing up as uh, a big carnival. I got the understanding and realization and, and visionary that of seeing the pain and hurt of the animals first. As I became more enlightened about it, more aware, it, once I went vegan, gosh, I never went back. It's the best thing ever. Being a vegan now on a superhero vegan diet, I no longer get sick. I don't have injuries. I don't have arthritic pains. You know, I'm thin, I'm trim, I'm muscular. James Lesh explains why he helps dogs adopt the vegan diet as well through the rehabilitation process. Everything I learned to apply to myself and my clients, I apply to the dogs. The dogs, when they're growing up on a vegan diet from puppy age, literally grow bigger and stronger than their parents. They don't have arthritic issues. Even dogs have cancer we treat. A vet would give them a diagnosis of three to six months. When we put them on a vegan diet and adjust a few things to that diet, they live generally an extra three years. This is where the true application of human love or affection towards our dog, by putting them on a vegan diet, they get to live a minimum of 30% longer. Supreme Master Ching Hai is herself a devoted animal lover with 10 adopted dogs of her own who have inspired her to write the number one international best-selling book, The Dogs in My Life. 
During a video conference for the book release of another number one international bestseller, The Birds in My Life, Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke about the blessings that animals, including dogs, bring to our lives. Mangmanjinjinda 不过如果你养一只狗，突然间你生活好起来，生意好，这不得了的话啊，要怀疑一点点，也许那只狗带来给你好运。OK，要慢慢观察。Dogs okay? bring us phenomenal luck. Um, I'm living proof of that. My clients are living proof of that. Provided that you, the human, listen in to what they are communicating. What I love doing is transforming my clients uh, subtly into becoming vegetarian and then vegan by using the dog as a medium as part of the rehabilitation process. The, the psychic connection, as you become more cleaner in terms of your diet, as you resonate the effect from the dog in terms of energy communication, you too will develop those abilities. This is ideally what I do with my clients is I help them become a dog whisperer to their own dog. We almost forgot to mention that James Lesh is the founder of Heiko Energy, a pioneering large wind farm in South Africa that started up in 2008. But James advises that the most effective solution that everyone can partake in to save the world is to become vegan. Through the mathematical calculations, by going vegan, just a few me, myself and staff, even dogs, just by 10 of them going vegan, offset more carbon emissions and negative effects to the environment than 20 million US dollar wind farm. And that was scary, that was phenomenal. And that's why doing the work that I do and being rewarded for it, um, my mission I find far more effective is transforming dogs and humans through the vegan diet. I show them through leadership. We are grateful to Mr. James Lesh for being a heroic role model and helper of our canine friends. We wish divine blessings for all your endeavors in heartening the connections between humans and canines as well as all beings. And thank you precious viewers for joining us on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. We would like to conclude today's show with a tip from James to any vegan dog caregiver. When you are cooking a vegan diet for a dog, raw is better than cooked. What you need to add to the food, and not in large, necessarily large quantities, is taurine and alcartanine. These two supplements are very easily and readily available and affordable from your local pharmacy. They are important for bone density and muscle growth. By putting in those supplements, I have some dogs that are born with very, very poor eyesight and as they grow within two years, their eyesight drastically improves, their heart condition drastically improves. On tomorrow's show, James will show us how to cook a vegan feast for our families of humans and doggies. Now, please stay tuned for Between Master and Disciples coming up next here on Supreme Master Television. May you be blessed with a warm companionship of an animal friend. For more information about Mr. James Lesh, South Africa's number one dog whisperer, please visit www.good-dog.co.za I'm James Lesh. Be Dog Whisperer for Africa. Be Veg, go green to save the planet. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash B-E-G.